finally we'll end with Gary. Uh, so Gary's up in extreme northwest Indiana up there in Chicago land. And so for the most part, it's not included in a lot of data, uh, although it's in Indiana, uh, because it's, uh, it's seen as being part of Chicago and Metro Chicago. Other places you'll find up here, you'll find Merrillville, East Chicago, Hammond, uh, but Gary is pretty much the poster child for uh, this urban cluster along Lake Michigan. Here we have the house in which the Jacksons lived, the most famous family uh, to live in Gary, Michael Jackson, uh, Janet Jackson, and all of them. Uh, so I use this for symbolism as well because of the out-migration that's happened for a good amount of time, but more recently uh, from this area. So the Jacksons, they don't live here anymore. Uh, but a lot of people don't live in Gary anymore. They've since migrated out. And a lot of this relates to, uh, once again, bigger picture migration patterns I mentioned beforehand regarding African Americans. So this is an area which a large number of African Americans moved to work in industry. Uh, but since then, since those jobs have declined, since industry is uh, no longer as big, uh, they since uh, had a, a return migration or have moved to other areas uh, looking for jobs. And here we see a very uh, moving image from a church uh, inside Gary that's been abandoned and over time been demolished and uh, has just essentially been vacated. So you have lots of these buildings throughout much of, of Gary, lots of abandoned buildings. Uh, so since 1990, it's pretty much uh, this uh, you know, loss of employment has started as uh, Gary is kind of lagged behind uh, in, you know, in, in United States average, but also lagged, started to fall in the steel industry. And I've mentioned those reasons before as for this lagging demand of steel, just essentially uh, you know, less uh, cars in the United States uh, being, uh, being built, and so that's less steel. Uh, constructions decline, uh, but also the big one is the role of China and India has emerged as by far the uh, global competitors that you know, previously did not exist. It was just Gary and Pittsburgh. In fact, Gary used to be called the Pittsburgh of the West. Further, you're also seeing a decline in that prime working age population. Uh, so that's that 25 to 54. So those are younger families. Uh, so all of that, if you lose you know, workers who could be potential workers, uh, that's not going to cause you to move there uh, to bring your foreign direct investment. Uh, it's also you know the abandoned buildings and all those eyesores. That's not going to make it attractive. High crime rates. That's not going to make it attractive. And so you're going to kind of see this kind of stuck in uh, a steady state of decline that we're seeing throughout this northwestern Indiana uh, area, particularly there in those industrial centers along Lake Michigan.